you guys doing dub turbo norbs we're gonna introduce the mac au install here and i want to give a special big shout out to doran who emailed us with the great news that our au isn't exactly working and um was quite upset i want to give a big shout out to him for bringing this to my attention personally i actually went out and got myself a mac i'm sitting on it right now doing this video on a nice imac got myself a new midi controller and a two by two presonus audio card and trying to replicate the problem exactly how he's had it and we've uh, managed to fix it. It's still being worked on, but we don't want you guys to wait anymore. So we're giving you guys the current version. Just go into your members area, into your, uh, whoops, into your download and install section, and then go down to 2B, re-download the AU. You'll come up with a zip file that opens up and gives you these three things, okay? The first thing you're gonna do is install the MSP runtime package. Once that's in, it's a shared library, which was missing before. You'll grab your component and you'll move it to your actual components. And for those new and don't know where to put that, you'll go into your hard drive. You'll go into library. In library, you'll go into audio. You can double click on these. I'm just doing it so you can see the map. You'll go into plugins and you'll go into components. I already have mine here, so I don't need to drag it over, but copy and paste or just drag that right in there. And then you'll be able to start logic Ableton or whatever DAW you use that uses this shared components folder. Okay. All right. So we're starting up logic, just creating a new project, software instrument channel. And then what we'll do is select our dub turbo AU. There's two of them here. We'll have the second one ready for you guys shortly as well. It might already be there when you view this video, um, stereo and wait, give it a moment and it pops up with R A U. Okay, so here you have your panner, your reverb. We'll turn that up a little bit just so you guys can hear it. Low amp, high amp, this just gives you more volumes. LFO glides, which work well on our instruments, a full ADSR rack, pitch bend, volume, and then a couple other options up here. So what we'll do now is, well, I guess play something for you guys. We installed another kit down at the bottom called Wobble Boss. This will be another new VST we're launching soon, but for now, you guys uh, are getting it because we screwed up. Shh. Nobody's supposed to know this yet, but I threw that in there and uh, I gladly did it. These are wicked. Long, short. Let's get rid of that reverb, actually. I want you guys to hear the raw. They're developed at 140. And they're short ones. Quick ones, long ones. You can bend these out or you can span them even more. Uh, because we give you guys the kits that we use for all these two in the members area. We're not supposed to tell you that yet either, but you have new kits and you can import them easily into the EXS sampler here. I'll show you guys how to do that on the next video. I'm also going to show you guys that use the standalone version still, how to import samples into the standalone on a Mac. I've managed to do it. You just got to get yourself a copy of Wine X11 and you can run the parsers just like you would on a PC and they'll spit out that icon for you. All right. Thanks for paying attention. Go get your new AU and enjoy Dub Turbo. Peace.